Pro Neuromix Tutorial 2022. I believe that Neuromix is the future of DJing and this year DJ Pro made some huge updates and made Neuromix so much more accessible and easy. I believe that Neuromix is the future of DJing and it's going to change the whole way that DJs mix in the future. So if you look at this controller, this is the Reloop Buddy controller and they put the drums, harmonics, and vocals in the mixer section. So instead of mixing with lows, mids, and highs, now you can mix with the parts of the song, such as the drums, and the harmonics, and vocals. So you can make your own mashups, you can make your own instrumentals, and it gives you a lot more control than just trying to do it with the bass, the mids, and the highs. So on the update that DJ Pro did, If you go to the mixer section in classic mode <coughs> and you go to the waveform over here and then you hit EQ, now it brings up an EQ section. So you got the lows, the mids, and the highs. But now if you switch it over to Neuromix EQ, now you have the same thing that you have on the Reloop Buddy. So if you have another controller and you're like, ah, oh, I wish that my controller had the Neuromix in it. I want to upgrade, spend more money on this controller. You don't have to. What you could do is you could switch to this screen in the, uh, on the actual app, and then you could map the controller for Neuromix in the mapping sections. I made a lot of videos on how to map controllers, so you could watch those. It's, it's pretty much the same with any controller. You just touch the button that you want to map, and then you choose what it does. So now we have the drums at the bottom, the harmonics, and the vocals. So let's load up a track, and I'll show you guys what that sounds like. Let's get a vocal song. Okay. So now we got an acapella. And then now we just have an instrumental. So you could use that to make sure you never mix two songs with vocals at the same time, make sure that the beats don't clash, and it just gives you full control of making sure that there is vocals or if there's no vocals. But now what's really cool is they have a Neuromix crossfader. So what this does is when you're playing one song, So now that gives you a whole nother way, a different style to mix if you want to use the crossfader as a neuro mix mixer. Now you have the access to that right in the mixer section, which is really cool. And you could change it from how do I do that? You could change it with four. So now you have drums, harmonics, and you have another section or you could go down to two. And then that's just the instrumentals and the harmonics. So that I think it's really cool that they add that in there from Neuromix and it gives you a lot more access. And then now over here at the bottom of the screen, you have a Neuromix slider. So that is really quickly if you want to get rid of the vocals or get rid of the harmonics and the beat you could just simply go here and boom slide it right over and this is always there ready to go for you guys to just use neuromix really quickly and if you press this arrow over here you could switch from instrumentals and acapellas to per percussive and tonal so this is for more music that doesn't have any vocals. So now you got drums and then you have like the guitars and stuff. I'll show you what it sounds like. And it's like the, the melody 
and the beat instead of the vocals and harmonics. So that's one way to do it. I like to keep it on instrumental and acapella because I mainly use it so that I don't have two vocals clashing and I also use Neuromix to make mashups on the fly. So you could change the layout. Okay, so if you go over here, this is a slider. So that's the slider that I showed you. And then this is just a button. So instead of sliding it, you could just press it. If you want no vocals, boom, you press no vocals. If you want no instrumentals, you press no instrumentals. So it makes it easier to do it on the snap. So you don't even have to think about it. You could easily just go, I right, want the vocals gone, boom. And then you press it and it's gone. So another way to access Neuromix is in the mixer section. So we got the mixer, we got the cue points, we got loops, effects, and then we have Neuromix. So these buttons up here will mute out a specific channel. So, all right, there we are. So now the song is playing like it normally is, and I'll show you when we take stuff away. So that takes everything off except the drums. And this one takes everything off except the vocals. And this one only does the harmonics. And then you could also use these sliders. So you could mix it in gradually and get these really smooth mixes using Neuromix with these three controls that you have with the slider. So now you have three controls and the slider so you get really precise with your mixes. And up here, you could change the layout. So just like on the other section, you got bass and harmonics, and then you could do two, just percussions tonal, or you could do even four, drums, bass, harmonics, and vocals. Now you have four channels of one song that you guys can manipulate and make it your own in your own way. It's really cool and definitely make sure that you use it. And now another Neuromix feature that they added is in the looper. So what they did was they added Neuromix into the bounce section of the looper. So once you start in the looper, you have manual saved and then bounce. You're going to find Neuromix in the bounce section. So you press these arrows all the way to the right, and then you have the Neuromix um, symbols. So over here is vocals. And what it does is it's going to lock one of the bounces on only the vocals, but the song's still going to be playing the beat, but it saves the vocals. It's a little bit tricky and definitely mess around with all these and get used to what they sound like and what they do before you use it in your sets because they could be a little bit tricky and it took me a while to figure it out and I still am not 100% sure how they work. So that was pretty cool. If you guys want to take a vocal from a song that's doing a buildup and then you could lock in that kind of, that the, you can make like a loop out of it and make a buildup out of a certain vocal. And then as soon as you let go of the button, boom, you're right back in the song at the correct time. So definitely check these out and mess around with them and find a way to use them in your sets. I think the one I said, the doing a buildup with a vocal before the drop, works really well with this feature. So I definitely recommend you guys trying that. So if you guys like learning about all the features and all the hidden features of DJ Pro and everything to do with DJing and the, with the iPad and the future of DJing and DJing in the metaverse, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.